<laughs> I mean, you can't make this shit up. You just can't. You cannot make this game up. Oh my God. What is going on YouTube? Savage here. Today we have a pretty unique video, something we've never done on the channel before. We're going to be spectating a viewer submitted video submitted via Discord while live streaming while that viewer is in the chat. I will be discussing everything that he's doing wrong and doing right, as well as the enemies that he runs into. And what this does is give us the ability to go over what he's doing from him. He gets to give us his input and tell us why he did what he did. But without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the video. This is how it is, man. Stop yelling at me. It's too much pressure. I'm getting hot. All right, here we are spectating beast mode. Who's going to his scavenger right off the bat. And it's in quarry. Now I love going quarry because of the way the buildings are. If there's a camper in one of these buildings, it's so easy to out rotate them and push them because of the different ways in and out. Now it's going to be fucking hot. Unfortunately, it's under us. We may miss out on this. I don't know if anybody came with us. Doesn't seem like it because no one picked it up. So we may get a little lucky. Now his field of view is really low because he's a console player. So once again, Activision, give console players field of view adjustments, you lazy pieces of And we're on to the next one. Now, normally when I go for scavenger objectives, as long as I have a weapon and plates, I'm good. I would instantly start beeline it from place to place to place um, and get these things taken care of as fast as possible. I wouldn't even get distracted with the gunshots going on. I wouldn't get distracted with loot again. You want to get these things as fast as possible. Get in, get out. All right, they're nice. M16 burst right to the fucking face. Bye bye, little Betty. Now there is a camping Betty Boo sitting on top of the roof. He's probably in the attic. So he's in, oh, he's jumping off right now. There's his parachute shadow and there she is. <laughs> what the fuck did he just say? He just call you a checker? Oh, check all. I don't know what that was. But that was the homeboy sitting on top. So this should be pretty clear. Assuming now this. Oh, there's some there's footsteps in here, but this building has a very unique way to actually climb up. It, and I can actually show you guys in the video later on. But instead of going into the building, going up the stairs, you can actually use the pipe from the outside to get to the ladder to climb to the top room. Something a lot of people aren't aware of. And then when you're on the ladder, you can actually jump off, vault into the window. So if someone's holding that staircase at the very top, they're not going to be expecting you coming through the window behind them. But we can go over that later on. We have footsteps above us. And we have a nice gun. Unfortunately, I don't really like fighting with these guns close range. Check right side, check right side. There she is <laughs> sitting perfectly still, literally sitting perfectly still. I don't know what they were doing. Praying to the barricade, praying to something. Now we finally got an SMG. Now, when you pick up one of these guns with like one of those variable zooms or the canted sights, make sure if it's a close range weapon, you can't the sight exactly too many times. And uh, Savage, that's very basic. Sh shut the f up. But the reason why I always say this stuff is we spectate so many games where people will literally use the thermal forex on their Uzi instead of just using the can of sight. So if they get in a close quarter fight, they get shit on every time. And again, you want to try to get these scavengers as fast as possible. I do like the fact you're clearing the building, but make sure it's all you're doing. Don't worry about the loot. Don't worry about anything else. Clear it, get in and get out. Let's get the fuck out of here. 122 enemies left. We have plates. Don't forget to plate up and let's get this scav because it's only the first one. We still have two more to get on top of that. Again, don't forget the pop plate. Now one plate's not gonna be super drastic, especially with the meta nowadays. You get hit by the AUG. Whether you have three plates or two plates, you're still fucking dead. But better safe than sorry. Beast, pop that plate. Now I'm saying that beast, but I do the same shit, okay? I do the same shit. Also, chat, feel free to put your input in as well because beast is here as well. I see your parachute. Or was that me? Snickles with the five months. Thank you for the five months. Snickles, appreciate it, brother. It's good to be back, honestly, dude. It's good to be back. All right, now again, look. So here, here's a position. We're in a building. And this is, this is again, player's instinct, especially players who are newer to BRs. And when I say newer, I mean like a year experience. That's pretty new. To be ours, they've been out for a while. But the issue with this is you just blew through a door. You instantly alerted anybody who's here, right? So if you blow into the door, the last thing you want to do is stay stagnant because if there is a player above you, they're now looking for you. 
And I get you might want to have your audio, right? You're, you're sitting still so you can hear. But the moment you don't hear anything, start moving. We've been here a little too long cr uh, crouched. I want to get moving. Never mind, he's in his map. I'm an idiot. Please, please ignore the fuck what I just said. Wow. <laughs> Savage, let him finish before you talk over him, dickhead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, beast mode. I'm sorry, brother. I remember just basic shit like this. Hit slide cancel. It has just hit it always. Just make it a habit. That's exactly what he's doing. Don't slide cancel upstairs, though. That's crazy. Take your guesses. Will he use the heartbeat or not? <laughs> oh, I'm going to slay you if I see you using the heartbeat, B. So I'm going to be honest. Oh, I've got $9,100. You should be able to find enough cash in this area. Again, another reason why I love quarry is you're always going to get enough cash. There's no doubt about that. Beast mode, what are you doing? What are you doing? You hear the crate above you somewhere. Where's that? There it is. Who's the, whose idea was this, bro? Oh, he actually popped daddy. No, no. And there's no money in there anyway. That was a waste. Whose idea was this crate? Bro, that sucks. That sucks, man. And there's a player next to us too. Footsteps behind us. We're in a very bad area. We need to get the f out of here as soon as possible. I don't know if we can fall off. Can we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it worked out. This guy heard you call him, but he had no idea where you were at. It worked out our benefit. And he gave us enough money. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Good shit, official. Did you hear him off the bat? Because I couldn't hear him. <laughs> like the moment you went prone, did you hear him at that moment? Because I didn't hear him until, you know, 30 seconds later. Yeah, whenever you get a claymore, bounce a bed, you just place that always. I love it. Bait the door. It'll at least al alert you to if there's an enemy nearby. Whether or not you're able to get the kill or not, because the claymore's not going to kill him unless he's super weak. But even if you don't get the kill, it's always an alert. It's an early warning system, and I love that. And we're being hunted, and there's a huge chance that the guy we're hunting is the one that's hunting us, too. It usually works like that. We got two guys on the mini-map right now being pinged. Three guys on the mini-map now. One guy sitting between these two buildings. Very vulnerable. He should be able to fuck on him if he's still there. Beast mode reading the mini-map. Trying to play off of that. Good shit, my dude. This guy had to have gone back inside, I would imagine. Unfortunately, because we accidentally popped up a dead silence, we're not going to be able to use it. That daddy would be perfect for this push, too. There he is again. Still shooting. He's above us. I can't tell what that arrow is. Yes, it's above us. So he's not in this building. He's on the next platform on the top. So all we got to do is get on the top, go in that little window, and then pa -pa, come up. God, he's, on the, he's on the building right there. He's on the building. Yeah, right there. Right here. Yeah, there he is. Yeah. Let's get it. And again, that just comes from reading the mini-map. When you look at the map, you just got to gotta educate a guesses, right? You saw the ping. It looked like it was between the two buildings, but the closer look, you could tell he's on top of this for sure. And again, going in through that third, just the third story, you can go in through the window and have a perfect line of sight on the enemy. But this is even, this is better, actually. This is even better. So good. Yeah, we've made a lot of noise. So I'm not surprised the enemy dipped out in this position. Now you got to be very careful because now the bounty is pushing us. Not to mention our bounty as well, which could be the bounty. We're not sure. So it could be a 1v2 or even a 1v3. We may, we may get super f***ed on in this position. And I'm assuming the enemy heard us and that's why he dipped out. And also because we're in quarry, I don't like sitting on rooftops this long. There he is. Look at this. Look at this guy. All right. We made noise instantly. If you make noise, jump off the rooftops. Get the hell out of here for sure. Because my main worry when I make noise, especially if I'm on a place like this where I'm vulnerable, my main concern, quarry's always got people in it off the rip. Always. It might, maybe three, maybe four. It could be seven. Who knows? But because I don't know, I want to play it safe. This scares the fuck out of me. This shit over here that we can't see scares the shit out of me. These buildings have multiples. You're looking at hundreds of lines of sight on this rooftop. So the moment that I make noise, I want to dip off, get that man shit and get out. Not to mention, we still need our loadout and we could probably get enough for UAV on top of that from Homeboy's loot. Not to mention also, even though our bounty expired, we know, make mental note, that the bounty was somewhere over in these buildings, right? So follow the bounty. Even if he goes away, just kind of make educated guesses on where you think that bounty rotated to based off of where he was moving. You know what I mean? Oh, he's got a fat stack. Look at this man. 
This is very dangerous. Again, this is hugely dangerous. Let's get my anxiety through the roof, beast mode. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yo, tag with 150 biddies. Thank you, my dude. Appreciate the love. Tag as always. All right, unfortunately for us, we got free loadout drop. Now, this is a point where you can decide, do I want to buy into the loadout and get ghost? Or do I feel confident enough with my gameplay and not really give a shit about ghost? So I just UAV uh, hunt and bounty hunt. Nice fucking bouncing, bro. Get wrecked. Because you don't have to get your ghost class. There's a lot of games I don't get my ghost class. Most of my games I don't run ghost because I don't really give a shit if people know where I'm at. I want people to come to me. I want to get fights. I want to get a lot of kills. So if you guys want that, dude, there's no, no reason to get your ghost class. Hold on to the money, buy UAV, buy self-res, do whatever it is you want to do. And again, normally I won't get self-res until I die and come back from the gulag. But if it gets like in-game or something like that to where if you die, you don't have no gulag, definitely get a self-res at that point for sure. Basically buy it whenever you can't gulag anymore. What do you think of the high alert perk? I like the high alert perk, but I think there's a lot more perks way better than that, right? If you're a sniper and you're sitting on hills or rooftops a lot or very vulnerable positions a lot, then for sure it can help you. But the time to kill being so fast right now, especially from augs and basically whatever guns the meta, the time to kill is so fast that by the time you're alerted, you're probably already gonna die anyway. I'd rather run amped or tracker, but it just depends on your play style. If you're a close quarter fighting person, tracker is gonna be a huge benefit for you because you can track where the enemies are going. Again, if you're a sniper and you're, you're posted up in certain power positions, high alert's gonna be an awesome perk for you to use. It just depends on your play style. And right now we can see the fear setting into beast mode right now. We're not really sure exactly what to do. We're not pulling up our map. We're not trying to figure out where to go. We're not figuring out rotation. So what are we doing? We're just playing scared. We know we have things peeing. We know where we want to go, but for some reason we're not quite moving out there. Now, maybe when I was reading chat, he saw an enemy I didn't see. I'm not sure. This is what I get for, uh, oh, there, he did see an enemy. Okay, I, I, I apologize, beast mode. Unless you didn't see him, unless it just happened to come out. If, if he happened to come out, then I don't apologize. So YouTube, Beast Mode just said there's no buy stations near. So even if there's no buy stations near, make your way to it. We got to go anyway. The last thing I want to do is die with $14,000 and give it to the enemy, right? So I'd want to rotate out of here. Not to mention this building I never recommend camping in. With thermites and stickies and being such a huge thing now, even if you're camping on the top level, it's so easy for the enemy to push you and kill you. And also because we're sitting in a window, we're extremely vulnerable to anybody who's sniping out here. So I would instantly rotate to that uh, bounty and then rotate to the buy station and start utilizing. Again, this is why a lot of people can't get the higher kill games. You know, you're like, well, I can't break 10 kills. I can't break 15 kills. I can't break 20 kills. I'm not sure how many kills you got in this game beast mode, but this entire wasted time is exactly what it is. Wasted time, right? You could have gotten multiple kills in this time. You could have UAVs. You could be hunting down this time but we've been sitting here for about two or three minutes and again a little bit waste of time not to mention even if you knew he was there and you wanted to rotate rotating this hill before he crossed the street would have been even better we could have already got that kill too so we're at five kills with 46 enemies and this is another example I will tell you though, I don't know how recent this gameplay is, but that AUG bro has a lot less recoil. I would definitely recommend the, the AUG. You can literally just spam the fuck out that trigger. It's nasty. Just trust, trust. Um, but yeah, again, going back to the kill. So basically if we would have been on this position, looking at this, the moment we knew he was there, instead of waiting for him to run across for three minutes, we could be here. The moment he crossed, we'd be closer to the enemy. We'd have the high ground. There's nothing he would have been able to do because we're closer. We're more guaranteed to hit our shots than we are further away. And because we shot him at long distance, we're now vulnerable from the guy we just shot at too. So we're looking for one guy getting shot by another. It's the bad place to be in, in general. You need to burst guns? Yeah, no, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. I'm, I'm newer to burst guns in Warzone too, brother. I definitely recommend the AUG though. M16 is still nasty. The AUG, nastier. I like the fact that he's pushing this building and he was staying in your cover. I'm not a fact of him crouch walking at all. Wish I could pull up the map. That's the only downfall to spectating viewer games. You saw him behind the dumpster, didn't you? 
Hey, did you just see him behind the dumpster? Hold up. For sure you did, didn't you? Did he or no? Did he or no? No, he didn't. My eyes are deceiving me. Sorry. Is he all a cold war weapon? Yes, it is. What up, what up daddy? How you doing, brother? So, okay, here we are. We know there's a player on blue building for sure, right? We know there's a player on blue building, but there's still a lot of things we need to be worrying about. If someone's so gung-ho to camp a position that you really don't feel comfortable pushing, hence blue building, I hate pushing them things. There's no, there's no shame in running away and going to hunt somebody else down or plan for your rotation. I always recommend like, oh, instead of fighting him, go fight someone else. But if you don't want to fight anybody, again, you could be doing other things like going for flags, focusing on the next circle and the power positions and trying to read the map, things like that. Sitting here for this long, long amount of time, just sitting stagnant, waiting for the enemy to make a move. Again, I think it's just a little bit waste of time. Uh, it says you got 13 kills. So I really think your kills could be a lot higher. You maybe you kind of got a 20 bomb in this game. Again, in high, all hindsight, it's, it's all well said and done. You, so you could be put in a position where you die by something else. But um, I do think you'll get better if you just improve your decision making on when to bail out, when to not bail out, and how to position yourself to make a fight better than it actually is going back to when we were camped up in that blue building. Here if you need equipment. So Beast Mode, again, again, YouTube, Beast Mode just said, I'm obsessed with the guy on the roof because of the buy station. I definitely get that. It makes 100% sense. But guess what's cool about that buy station? It's going to have a very, very small window of opportunity for him to get a shot off on you, for sure. And if he doesn't have a sniper and it didn't look like he had a sniper, you might be okay. Um, even if he had a sniper, I think you'll be able to go to that buy station, sneak a buy, and get the hell out of there, for sure. Um, that buy station's got sandbags that protects a certain angle from you from that rooftop and also has that covering above you. I don't believe there's ever, oh, I'll have to look at it, but I'm pretty sure there's not any, any opening from that rooftop to that buy station as long as you lay prone. I may be wrong on that. I'll have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure if you go prone behind that buy station, at least from the roof itself, you're protected. Now, that's assuming the only enemies on the roof. You have the trailers behind you and all that other shit. And right now, another opportunity, oh, Never mind. I was going to say, as long as he's in a fight, go take advantage of that go to the buy station, but he just died, so never mind. <clears throat> Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. And also, because we got the assist, the guy we were originally fighting, of course, is the one that died, so a new enemy went up there and killed him. And... Yeah, there he is again. So the guy that's on the rooftop now is a brand new enemy. So whatever guns you saw him have, that's null and void because it's a whole different player. So you got to be very careful about him. So now we're getting shot at from the left-hand side, which is why we're trying to come back to the gas station. And unfortunately, we're in a position now where we're kind of pinched. Now what do we do? Now how do we work our way out of here? Well, I don't want to f*** with the guy on the rooftop at all. At all. Unless you're an absolute animal with that burst rifle, with that M16, that's a burst, but you just said you're new to it. So because I'm new to the gun, because I don't feel comfortable with the gun, I'm still trying to get my confidence and learn the weapon, I really wouldn't try to challenge a guy who clearly has an AUG um, because he'll probably shit down our throat. He might not. You might be all right. You might actually kill him. But I'd be more focused on the guy to our left-hand side, try to win that fight, and then maybe worry about that guy. When it comes to position, you're getting shot by two different enemies or two different teams. You need to take advantage of the guy who's the most vulnerable. Because of that rooftop right there, he's got that huge ledge, which at any time you start shooting him, he just hides behind, plates back up, and repeats. So it's going to be a very hard fight for you to win fast. The other guy, we don't know where he's at, but I'm assuming he's either somewhere on the hill, somewhere on the mountaintop, uh, behind a tree maybe. He should be an easier target to kill, but we'll see what happens. I don't know exactly where that dude's at. You see him on the top roof right there, right in the corner. What is he doing? <laughs> the savage, you said? Look, okay, look, again, <laughs> situational base, right? The reason why I always say don't crouch when you're in combat is because your reaction time is going to be slower and your movement speed is going to be slower, right? We literally shot that guy with two bursts before he even flinched. His reaction time clearly wasn't there, but... If he would have been standing up, even though those two bursts would have been slower for him to react, that third burst, he could have just moved aside really quick. But because he was crouched, his movement speed was slowed, and he got fucked up. But a uh, great kill. Great kill. He had the advantage point. I mean, the fact that he got that kill in general puts you at advantage. Now we got to find out where the next teammate is, where the next enemy is. There he is, close! Is he hiding? No shot. Is he hi He's hiding. He's hiding in here. Savage, how do you combat cap campers? Well, how you combat... <laughs> 
cappers. How you combat campers is stun grenades or flashbangs. And this is a perfect example. Assuming he's in the building, he could be on the backside. This is why I don't like heartbeats. This is why I personally run stuns uh, is because if I throw a stun in there, this guy's a slide cancel through the door, come around the corner and ADS on him and he has no chance in hell or even a flashbang, it doesn't matter. Okay, as far as the enemy is concerned there, right? If you're gonna camp, do it correctly. This man has a nice thing of cover right here called the counter. All he has to do is mount on it and hold the doorway. Granted, his head's still vulnerable, but it's a smaller object to shoot at, which makes it harder for inaccurate players to hit. Um, not saying you're not accurate, I'm just saying in general. But what he does instead is, again, he goes crouch and sits on the side of it, revealing his entire body, his torso, his knees, his feet, his legs, his head. Everything's vulnerable, which makes it easier for the shoot. Would you guys rather shoot a giant barn wall or shoot... A mosquito right got to make it harder for the enemy to get the kill don't just put yourself out there if you don't have to if i was the enemy and i was camping for whatever reason i'd be the camp behind this encounter mounted the fuck up also mounting makes your gun more accurate so many benefits to it granted i'm not recommending anybody camping here don't do it you're, you're gonna die don't do it Now, because Bertha scared the shit out of me, what I would do is jump on this wall and I would try to get to the rooftop of this building. I would try my hardest to get to the rooftop of the gas station. I would not want to be on the ground level for two reasons. One, Big Bertha may run us over. Where he's at right now, based on his driving, probably not. But also, two, again, third party. I don't, I don't trust the hill being behind me. I don't like the fact the entire hill, the high ground's behind me. Articulus Stunner, thank you for the five gifted, my man. Tag. Also coming in with the 150 stars on bits on top of it. Thank you, brothers. The hype in the chat for this man. The five sub bomb. Thank you, man. Let's fucking go. Articulate. What's good, brother? Sons are good for killing rats. Exactly, brother. Exactly. But again, based on his driving, it's really not that big of a deal. But just, just in general, if there's a vehicle, try to get to something with elevation. He get out the vehicle, too. <laughs> he mollied it. Okay, interesting. All right, this man's cracked. Be careful. Be careful, beast mode. This guy is clearly cracked out of his head. <laughs> you hear him? You hear him? He's in the bush. He's in the bush. I don't know what the f he was doing. I have no idea what the hell that man was doing. Yo, PJ, facts, bro. Facts. Tag, think of another 50 bits, my man. Much love, brother. Let's go! Weird. I know sporadic fucking weird. All right. Look, look at the mini map again. Pay attention to the mini map always. He, I'm not saying he's not, but these guys are just revealing themselves to you, man. They're just fucking shooting flares up in outer space, trying to get you to go to them because they want to die by your hand. Make sure you deliver their promise, their last wish. Give them that dream. Now we'll see if you noticed it or not. I think you did because you're aiming towards it. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think he did see it actually. When he calls in this UAV, he's gonna be very surprised. Oh, oh, never mind. He's driving away. Little things like that. Like, granted, he still probably would have gotten the vehicle before we could have killed him, but just little things like that. Always pay attention to those red blips. Make it a habit to always keep your eye glancing at the top left hand corner of the, of the, of the screen because that right there could save and or get you more kills. Oh, shut the fuck up. This, this shit here, I, every time we see this, I try to spread the word of the almighty savage and no one fucking listens or no one watches it, whatever. But this right here, camping in a tower, what are you doing? What? This is never an option for any si chat right now. Someone tell me a good reason to camp in this fucking tower. Tell me one good, honest reason to camp in this tower. It has a benefit to them, to them period. What's a good reason? Better cell signal. There we go. That's the winner. I like that one. AFK. True. He could be taking a shit. That's very true. That's very true. The view. Okay. Y'all like, come up with better answers than I thought. All right. Never mind. I'm too fat to run. All right. Let's continue. <laughs> he may not even tower. He may be in the sky. We don't know, but I'm assuming that there he is. There's, look at his head. Look at his head right here. Weird. So weird. And, and then also pay attention to the minimap. Look at the minimap. Homeboy sitting by the vehicle. On the minimap. Let's go kill his ass. He's coming towards us too.
<laughs> Obi Wan Kenobi. You have the high ground, Anakin. Oh. Oh. Ask questions. Don't be surprised when we answer. Yeah, I, I forgot. You guys are way wittier than I expected. <laughs> All right. Let's go kill this asshole. He's, he's blipped on the UAV about 900 times. It's time for him to fucking die. And also, guys, when you use a UAV, even if you have more money and more things to buy, if you have a UAV in the air, take advantage of it. That way you can get that kill. Make sure he's dead before he gets in the berth and leaves. One. But two, so you can get full potential out of that money's worth. That way, when you finish getting the kill, you can go back to the buy station, get another UAV, and it essentially kind of lasts you longer, if that makes sense. The UAV it still lasts the same amount of time, but because it's being delayed because you're in the middle of getting a kill, it then lasts a little bit longer in the match. I don't know what the hell this kid's doing. He drives it, parks it, drives it, parks it. I don't. I think he's playing fours. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Another reason why I like Thermite now is for Big Bertha's. You got out the vehicle. Man, trying to outplay you. You could get in his Bertha and just play the shit out of him and steal that bitch. Yeah. Got him. Got him. Look at this. Really? All right. So what I would have done in this position, let's rewind it a little bit. What I would have done in this spot right here. What I've done right here is the enemies and the, the enemy's got his back against the wall, essentially, right? He's on top of the wood pile. There's a nice long fence. He's about halfway through the fence. So all I have to do at this position is drive to him and jump out of the vehicle. And hopefully and probably he'll remain focused on the vehicle. I could jump out and shit on his face for sure. Instead of again, kind of parking it, reparking it, driving around, trying to get the splat, take advantage of the fact that he obviously is a newer player. Instantly just pull up to him, jump out and get the easy kill and then be on your way. Again, controlling, controlling the narrative, controlling the gameplay, making it work to your favor. Also in a situation like that, instead of revealing your whole body to be vulnerable, you could have gotten in the bed of the truck, vaulted on top and use, I mean, it wouldn't be that much cover, but at least protect half your body. Not a huge thing, just a little tip for tats, right? That's why I'm baiting for shots. Ah. Uh, makes sense. Makes sense. All right, here we are. UAV hunting our asses off. It always amazes me to see players like just posted up in one building for an extended period of time. So we don't need, we don't need to jump out of our vehicle. We don't have to do shit. All we have to do is park our vehicle up here, wait for this man to be vulnerable and run in the open because he's waiting for the gas to push him out and then easily kill him. Although you want to keep eyes on this vehicle too. Like park this truck somewhere where you can keep eyes on this because if he gets in the vehicle and drives away, then we will lose out on the kill. You pop out on the you pop out of the truck on the left side every time. Um yes, if, yeah, you're driving Bertha, you pop on the left every time. Yeah. And Beast Mode read that situation perfectly, did exactly what I was thinking. Now the enemy should have gone down the hill for that vehicle. If I was in the enemy's position, that's what I'd be focused on right now. Oh, we're gonna get us a splat, baby. That's it. Boom! Light him up! <laughs> Get, let's go malicious hell yeah bro this inning right here is somewhat of a bitch. it's it's based a lot off rotations but this is where like those unfortunate situations happen because there's so many different spots people will camp on. You have our apartment buildings, people be camped up on. You have both the blue roof buildings. You have a little bit of quarry. Um, I, it's kind of hard to read where the next circle is going to go in this situation, but it's something you definitely want to pay attention to.
Let's see if he pulls up his map. See, when the new circle comes up, if you're not familiar with the terrain, if you see the new circle, as you guys see here, just popped up, pull up your map and try to read the situation. Look at look to see where the biggest compound is, and that's where you kind of want to go to, unless it's in the center. Again, you don't want to go center of the next circle because you're literally gonna have to fight everybody. Everyone's gonna be surrounding you. It's gonna be like Mr. And Mrs. Smith when they're sitting there fighting in circles because they're just being surrounded by different angles. You want to always avoid that situation. So if there's a compound or a building or a hill or a high ground, something that you can get to and work to your advantage of power position per se, um, that's where you want to go to. So always recommend if the new circle pops up, pull up your map and at least glance at it. Because the last thing, the last thing wants to happen is us being in a position where we need to move out in the open, whether we have a vehicle or not. Um, whether we have a vehicle or not, if we're moving in the open, once we jump out the vehicle, people will see exactly where we're at. So in games, I like to personally stop driving vehicles and kind of go stealthy with it. Because again, anyone paying attention to mini map, are you cooking pizza rolls? Oh hell no! I ain't got no pizza rolls. Damn it, man! I can't even focus right now. Oh, I gotta get some food now. I'm starving, man. We're getting pizza tonight this this diet life let's continue what was it talking about oh yeah we have the vehicle to our advantage but uh, it, i don't remember what i'm saying let's go again i i would have pulled up the map at least glance the terrain to see exactly where it'd be at now because of we knowing the terrain and seeing the terrain right this is going to be the highest point but it's not the best spot to be in um because you're pretty vulnerable to different directions and also if people rotate out of quarry they can come up behind you relatively easy and same thing when people come out of military base so just because you go to this hill and it's the power position doesn't make it the best spot to be at. And also the center of the circle. So I'd be playing, I'd be playing the high ground, the hill that's actually behind us, the highest point, playing that edge, waiting for people to rotate in from the edge, making sure my back's cleared and then rotating, rotating into whatever the next circle dictates to. And again, I'd probably, eh, you might be able to get away with the vehicle up on top on this high point. But again, because the vehicle makes so much noise, on the mini map if you happen to drive up on the hill and get the high ground and you jump out of the vehicle that's just again an alert enemies to your position i'd probably stealth it up at this point also pay attention to the mini map because we have a vehicle on there and we have a big birth up here as well this big birth is a spawn but that vehicle at the very top that just got out is not a spawn this guy right here. There's an enemy right here. Again, pay attention to the minimap. There's a sniper. Love that. Getting the new Big Bertha and go splat this asshole too. Are we getting two splats? Oh yeah, you're getting dead, bitch. Oh man. I wouldn't even chase them. No. Mistake. So ATVs are the easiest targets in the game. And I think it's easier than people actually running on foot. Um, I'm more accurate sniping people off these vehicles and actually sniping them on foot. So what I would have done is instantly bailed out of the Bertha on top and just whipped up the M16, gotten two burst shots and killed this asshole. Um, all we're gonna do is if we end up chasing them, all we're gonna do is leave our high ground, leave our position, and it could get us killed later on. We'll see if he thought that was audible. Oh yeah. Oh we're, we're oh we're in pursuit, boys. <laughs> now if you do ram an ATV head on, you will get the kill. I've done that a few times. That's pretty pretty dope, not gonna lie. You see the ATV trying to come back to get his position. I think everyone's realized this is the spot to be. We're, ladies and gentlemen, here you have some twisted metal action. ATV went right back to the high ground. He had the right idea. He really did. That's the spot you want to be at. You don't want to be at the low ground. Don't sacrifice the height for the chase. Beast mode. Oh no, don't let this be how you die. Now, again, the best part would have been to jump out of your vehicle earlier, shoot him in the back with the M16, but now we're in this position. So this position is gonna be a little bit weird, right? You're gonna have to rely on your gunplay and cover and pray to God he's not Joe Woe, right? So you're gonna have to somehow fight him with all this cover. He really has the advantage because we have to jump out of our vehicle and find him. He's gonna play hide and seek. And the person who's always hiding usually has an advantage on us unless they make a stupid peek. Again, why I would have fought him earlier and not now. Again, oh no, don't let the vehicle run you over. <laughs> oh facts facts him facts and once again leaving high ground <laughs> so right now i'm savage stop pausing the video shut up so right now it's not a bad spot this is the position you want to be in but it's a little too early because again we haven't cleared out our back inside and the last you want to do is get to this spot 
start getting combat with the guy behind us, and then someone in quarry snipes in the back of the head. Um, in game, you always want to try to the best of your ability to play the edge. Mid game, early game, never play the edge. But mid in game, play it slow, slow it down. I don't care how aggressive you are, and solidify the win. Now, a lot of people will probably be like, I'm gonna camp these buildings down here because it's some covered. But again, the circle probably is gonna end up rotating back up the hill, just judging by how much is in here. We'll see. The chance of us being favored on this hill is greatly, greatly increased compared to the people down below. Not to mention, who the f wants to fight an uphill battle? There's a sniper glint again. Now we're getting, now we're pinched. Now we're in a position where we're fighting two guys at the same time. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is exactly what I was afraid of. In this position, get back in the vehicle and bail out. You, you gotta, you gotta bail out of this fight. And also minimap, we have another guy down here below us as well. All right, we got the down. Luckily, we gotta get the execute. Hopefully get it soon before we get shot in the back. Good shit. And again, don't forget about the guy down here. We just saw a guy. We can easily peek over and get that kill without getting sniped. But since we're not paying attention, since we didn't see on the minimap, we run a huge risk of have him coming up behind us and clapping us in the back of the head. And that's what I think is going to happen. I think he's about to shoot us in the back. Good kill. But we're making a lot of noise and homeboy behind us is, uh, yep. Oh, so close. No. Weird. Absolutely weird. Oh, yeah, that's and that's all it is, man. It's just trying to pay a little bit more attention to detail on the mini map. And uh, again, that's there's no hate to that. A lot of people don't read the mini map 24 seven. The moment anything happens on the mini map, I'm always looking that little red emblem instantly hits my peripheral. And, and I don't know. I've been again, I've been playing BR for five years, so I'm used to reading mini maps. My man hit the spectate. I like that. Thank you. No one ever does this. No one spectates the end. If you guys submit a video where you lose, spectate the rest of it out. I want to see the entire game. All right, here we are spectating Delala. Delala is a, one of my favorite names in this game. Rocking seven kills. This is the guy that snuffed the shit out of our boy. Gas mask, heartbeat sensor. Let's hold it out for a little bit. There we go. There we go. Yep, keep holding it out. No numbers at the bottom, but still holding it out. Waiting for the scan. Praying to the loot weapon gods. What are you doing, fam? Pick something up. We've got now... We've now got a Beast Mode's M16 that's built pretty decently. I don't mind it at all. I like it. I like it. He's got a nice build on it. No heartbeats. The circle is very small. There are no heartbeats. You can put it away. Either A, they have ghosts, or B, they're not there. Now, there may be players over here that our heartbeat can't reach, but guess what? They're not leaving that building for us. No way. They're not going to run out in the open. Hey, man, heartbeat me. No, no chance. So what do you do? Well, you need to start getting eyes on everything around you. This is the, this is what I talk about when you want to get eyes on things and get information and gather intel for in-game situations. A lot of players freeze up. They sit here and they do this shit and they don't watch people. Weird! I had no idea it was going to happen. It literally as I'm talking about it. They don't watch around them and watch for people trying to sneak them. Lo and behold, someone gets in the fucking Bertha right next to us and steals that. Wow. <laughs> Wow, I mean, <laughs> chat, chat. And, 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 there's a lot of people that watch my videos. And I get, I get some comments like Savage watches these beforehand. I mean, we literally pulled this today. Beast told me to watch this from Discord. Haven't seen it. I mean, literally, like this is just it, it, it's, it's how this game is. How people play. Let's go. <laughs> he can't blow up the C4. He doesn't know what button to blow it up. No shot, bro. No chance! Oh no! What is this game? Where's the other enemy? There's it's a 1v1 right now. We're not even ADSing. We're hip firing. Now he's a level 13 savage. Be nice. He's new. He's really new. You could tell. Oh, that sucks, man. He checks his watch. <laughs> Hey, I wonder where he's at. Let's use the heartbeat. F the fact that he jumped out the vehicle he stole from us. Oh. What? Huh? Now, correct me if I'm wrong. There's three enemies left. There's three people left. That means there's two enemies. We saw one guy run inside the building. 
You get shot. Look at the hit indicators. Look at this. Hit, hit indicator. That's what this is. Notice how it moves, right? Hit indicator. It means we get shot from the left-hand side. But that, that's one plus one is two. There's two enemies. Plus us is three. That's, th that's it. That's all the people. Why the fuck we're shooting the vehicles beyond me? But again, he's a new player. Savage, be nice. Look, I'm sorry. It's funny. It is what it is. But eh, no. <laughs> no. I mean, you can't make this shit up. You just can't. You cannot make this game up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Is he about to win the game? No, he's gonna die. If he had a gas mask, still he would, but. Damn. Ah, oh, GG's. Wow. That was the ending. That was probably the best ending I've ever spectated. That was fire. <laughs> What? What? <laughs> I'm glad I I'm glad I went back, bro. I'm so glad you said something. I would not want to miss out on that. Holy sh Beast mode, thank you for the gameplay, brother. Really enjoyed uh, spectating, analyzing it, dude. I appreciate everyone in chat putting their input. Beast mode, thank you as well. Um, guys, if you haven't checked me out on Twitch yet, make sure you come by. We're gonna be doing spectating series live over here. Pretty awesome, I'm having a blast with this. Um, but I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Even if you didn't learn anything, let's hope you enjoyed the video. But until next time, you have a good one. Good luck in Warzone.